Welcome to the lesson of algebraic expansion. At the end of this video lesson, you should be able to expand the product of two algebraic expressions. We shall recap on expanding of a term into a bracket. Using the distributive law, negative c multiplied to a results in negative ac. Negative c multiplied to negative 2b gives positive 2bc. And the expanded expression is negative ac plus 2bc. Let's expand the product of A plus B and C plus D. We will use a pictorial illustration to show the concept of expansion. We start with a rectangle of dimension A by C units. Extending the length by B units gives A plus B. Extending the width by D units gives C plus D. Now, we see that the new rectangle is composed of four smaller rectangle. The area of the blue rectangle, green rectangle, Yellow rectangle and red rectangle is AC unit square, AD unit square, BD unit square and BC unit square respectively. Hence, we can see that the area of the big rectangle of dimension, A plus B, by C plus D, is made up of the total areas of four smaller rectangle, AC plus AD, plus BC, plus BD. We have gone through the pictorial illustration of the concept. Technically, we can easily expand the product using the FOIL method, bearing in mind that every term in the first bracket has to be multiplied to all the terms in the second bracket. Starting with the first letter F, we multiply the first term of each bracket, which is A and C, giving AC. Next, looking at the letter O, we multiply the outer term of each bracket, which in this case is A and E, gives positive AD. Thirdly, we multiply the inner terms of each bracket resulting in positive BC. Lastly, for the letter L, we multiply the last term in each bracket resulting in positive BD. Now, we shall work on example 1. Remembering that to expand the product, we have to multiply every term in the first bracket to all the terms in the second bracket. Using the FOIL method, x multiplies to positive 3x results in 3x square. x multiplies to y gives positive xy. Negative 2y multiplies to positive 3x gives negative 6xy. Lastly, negative 2y multiplies to positive y gives negative 2y square. From the expanded expression, we spot a pair of like terms, xy and negative 6xy, which we can simplify to give. Now on example 2. Following the concept of multiplying each term in the first bracket to all terms in the second one, we start with multiplying 2 and 4x giving positive 8x. 2 multiply to 1 gives positive 2. 2 multiplies to y gives positive 2y. Moving on to the second term in the first bracket. Negative x multiplies to 4x gives negative 4x square. Negative x multiplies to 1 gives negative x and negative x multiplies to positive y gives negative xy. The expanded expression can be further simplified to 